is the third time the charm. After running for Chicago mayor in 2015 and 2019 and failing to make the runoff election, either of those times, wealthy businessman Willie Wilson announced this morning he's going to run for the job again. Uh, I, I don't need to run for mayor to, to get, a, get, a, get a paycheck. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. My uh, wanting to do this is to serve the community. Four years ago, Wilson estimated his net worth at uh, up to $60 million. Fox 32 political editor Mike Flannery joins us now. So, Mike, is Willie Wilson becoming one of those perennial candidates who likes to run for everything, or do you think he's got a shot here? Well, uh, uh, maybe both. He's also run for U.S. Senator Dane and for President of the United States unsuccessfully, but he could have a bigger impact this time, especially given his popularity among voters in Chicago's politically pivotal black community. We got to make sure that the community work together. Mm. One person cannot solve the problem of two or three million people or more. It takes togetherness. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one person cannot fix the crime yes. by itself. One person cannot fix all the economic that we particularly need or the education system. But one person can open the doors and communicate. Yes. And that people can have input and to put in. Willie Wilson's recent multi-million dollar gasoline giveaways have become part of his political trademark and have added to the political attention, public attention that he's drawn recently. Also, uh, they've drawn some ridicule from Mayor Lightfoot and some of her allies for causing long lines and making people wake up early to get in line for gasoline. But Wilson's promising to do it again, even if the city imposes new rules, making it more difficult. If Chicago don't allow me to do it again, to try to put up some roadblock, then we'll just go over in Indiana and suburban uh, area and have the people in Chicago come out there and get gas. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll do what it takes. So there is one other candidate as he contemplates these new, uh, another round of gasoline giveaways. Uh, Alderman Ray Lopez uh, from the Southside 15th Ward. Uh, jumped in uh, a, a few days ago and uh, is uh, uh, among perhaps a half dozen serious candidates thinking about it. You know, I, re I recall that Willie Wilson took some flack uh, one of his previous campaigns when he went into churches and just gave away money. Remember that? Right. And then there's this gas giveaway. Now that he's a candidate, I mean, where does he cross the line to, from, you know, just well, the generosity and charity to, you know, trying to buy votes? The, there was a complaint about the, the, the cash giveaways, and the State Board of Elections actually reviewed it, and they, uh, they okayed it. They noted that he had been doing it, <laughs> it is for Illinois. several decades. <laughs> uh, that, that, uh, and... Uh, and they said it, uh, uh, given his history of these giveaways, it did not uh, qualify or, or it did not rise to the level of buying votes. Yeah. Um, uh, of course, Mayor Lightfoot's gas giveaway uh, involves uh, Chicagoans' own tax dollars. Right. Uh, and <laughs> That's she, true. She's giving, she's giving people back their own tax dollars. Wilson uh, had some fun with that at today's announcement, noting that his gas giveaways are from his own checkbook. So where you see a mayoral field starting to shape up a little bit here, right? And, and, and if Quigley jumps into the race, that could change things quite a bit. Congressman White, Mike Quigley from the north side, uh, as uh, Fran Spielman noted in a story she did in the Sun-Times posted a few hours ago, uh, some of the really big money people uh, mm -hmm. seem to be uh, uh, sort of uh, stepping back at this point, perhaps waiting for the field to form. Uh, uh, Paul Vallis uh, uh, contemplating it, uh, and a half dozen others. All right. Mike, thanks. It's going to be a fun election season. It is. Starting already. Yeah. All right.